Hey everybody and welcome to the channel. Um, today's project um, a wood splitter, um, one of those hydraulic ones. Um, it's totally homemade, uh, but apparently it ran a few years ago. Um, I think he's eventually going to take it. Uh, apparently it did run, so the goal is to get it running. Um, we built a woodshed. Um, so Anyway, the goal is to, will it run? You know, my father-in-law, he used it a few years ago. Here it is. Um, it's definitely homemade. It's got some crazy weird axles and that one even has like a drum still on it, but whatever. Um, the hydraulics looks like some, maybe it came off a tractor maybe. I don't know. I mean, kind of cool. It works. It has the typical things. It has a one and seven eight, seven eight inch ball. So I pulled it in there with my little tractor. Um, and the, I have no idea what this is. Uh, I think it's a Harbor Freight motor or engine. Um, oddly enough, out there's a little shed out back. That we're going to eventually tear down. It's pretty much almost falling down anyway. But inside that, there's another one of these that's all covered in junk. So maybe, um, you know, I can get parts off it if I need it. Anyway, we'll see if we can get this thing to run. Whew. Stinky. I think we want to take that cover off to get to the carburetor. What do you got here? 10 millimeter maybe. Ooh, perfect guess. No, not there, but this is. I guess, let's see. Let's come off separate. I don't know. Let's try it. Now that's like an eight millimeter, probably. Of course. Where is that? There we go. Ooh. Eight millimeter. No. It is. Why doesn't the other one fit? Oh well. Okay. Do this the easier way. that comes off separate screwdriver take this off you got here all right there's two pieces okay what we got here some kind of gasket thing. It's sealed. What is this? It's just a housing. Because the plate. I don't know. All right. Let's get that off. Let's see what's under this thing. 10 millimeter. Mm, it's so long now. Yeah. Should come off, I think. This should come off. There we go. That's that. Okay, so that's the air intake. Yeah, that's all one piece. Let's see if we can get the. Uh, what do we, there. There we go. There it comes off. Now fuel line. I suppose that means it's gonna leak everywhere. Alright, these are my absolute favorite vice grips. Nice and flat, good for pinching off lines. Oh, that probably needs to be replaced anyway. Pinch that off. Pull it off. Okay. 
So I'm going to just cut it. This is old. We're just gonna cut it, spill it a bit. There you go. Oh, that is really buried in there. I don't know. If that was the best idea. All right. Okay. Well, it's off. Let's go take it apart. Alrighty. So didn't want to get my workbench all gross. That's what workbench. Try to get the glasses on. Let's just see. Oh man, it's dirty. I should clean this up. Yeah, that fuel line is on there. So Oh, there we go. That's not that bad. There comes some fuel. Oh boy, that reeks. Well, looks like maybe the float still works. on here that seems okay set that over there this is full of crap see in there that is clogged up so get that little jet out of there and a better screwdriver this one's here That's what it's supposed to do, so we'll see. Once I get it running, I'll show you. All right, well, I decided to uh, take the gas tank off, but carburetor is pretty much clean. Um, the fuel hose was underneath all this and needed to be replaced anyway, plus the gas reeks. Uh, unfortunately, I spilled a bunch 
into the garage. That's gross, but all right. I <clears throat> put the carburetor assembly back together pretty much. Um, put the the new fuel line on. Although I think it's too thick. It's kind of hitting, but. Um, so I'm going to put a little bit of fresh fuel in the tank. I drained it and I'm going to give it a shot. See what All right, happens. so I got the carburetor um, all put back together after cleaning it. Uh, put some fuel in and it spilled everywhere. The uh, fuel line was not good. So anyway, went and got some proper fuel line and uh, got it all back together. I'm going to roll it out of the garage to test it, but... See the new fuel line in there, no leaks. Um, carb or the tank looks pretty clean. Um, just gonna put the top on, but uh, yeah, we'll see if it'll actually run. So, all right. Together, left the air cleaner off. Uh, let's see, choke, choke's on, fuel's on, speed, uh, middle. I don't know. Give a little bit of starting fluid to get her primed. Whoa, that lid broke. All right, let's see what happens. Again, maybe it was a little too choked. she got me apparently this valve here or the seal is not good once it pressurized I was drenched in hydraulic fluid the motor ran though I mean hey but yeah homemade who know long who knows how long it's been sitting there but that right there is a hydraulic squirt machine I survived um, I was tasting hydraulic fluid for a couple days Shot me like right in the face. Not funny, but funny. But anyway, leave a comment, like it, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.